dear students in continuation with the last video we are going to discuss the remaining objective bits in the photosynthesis so coming to the 27th bit red drop effect was studied by option 1 van neel option 2 blink option 3 emersion option 4 calvin first of all you should understand what is red drop effect so emersion was one of the scientists he performed experiments in chlorella and found that the rate of photosynthesis at different wavelengths so the rate of photosynthesis is usually measured in quantum yield so what is quantum yield amount of oxygen released per quantum of light energy absorbed is called quantum yield so when they have performed these experiments they concluded that so they have used actually two different wavelengths the when the plants were given to the shorter wavelength so the rate of the quantum yield will be 53 when the plants were exposed to the longer wavelength that is 700 nanometers the quantum yield will be 10 so when they have exposed the plants to both shorter wavelength and longer wavelength the quantum yield is 72 so the rate of photosynthesis is drastically increased when the plants are exposed to both the wavelengths shorter and longer wavelength so you know shorter wavelength 653 to 680 nanometers so we discussed normally that shorter wavelength we can use as 680 nanometers and a longer wavelength 700 nanometers so when the plants are exposed to both shorter wavelength and longer wavelength the rate of photosynthesis is drastically increased this is called emersion enhancement effect when they expose the plants only to the shorter wavelength or only to the longer wavelength the rate of photosynthesis is not that much increased when compared to the plants exposed to simultaneously to both 680 that is 650 through 680 and 700 nanometers this is called emersion enhancement effect so what is red drop effect so this is another experiment here when the this scientist robert emersion and his team performed an experiment in chlorella so when the plants are exposed to the red light that is up to 653 to 680 nanometers the rate of photosynthesis is suddenly decreased after 680 nanometers this is called red drop effect so red drop effect can be defined as the rate of photosynthesis is suddenly declined after 680 nanometers so you know that 400 to 700 nanometer is the visible region when the plants are exposed to, uh, to this wavelength that is 400 to 700 nanometers at 400 500 600 up to 653 and after 653 660 680 at 680 nanometers the rate of photosynthesis is at constant level but at 680 nanometers the rate of photosynthesis is suddenly declined this is called red drop this was studied by emersion so red drop effect was studied by emersion now coming to the 28th question c3 cycle reductive pentose phosphate cycle is basically a option 1 carbon dioxide reduction cycle option 2 carbon dioxide oxidation cycle option 3 photochemical reaction option 4 both 2 and 3 so c3 cycle is also called calvin cycle so c3 cycle is basically a carbon reduction cycle carbon dioxide reduction cycle so 28th question first option here the carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrate so it is carbon dioxide redu reduction cycle now coming to the 29th question to reduce one carbon dioxide molecule in c3 cycle assimilatory power needed is so you just remember the c3 cycle there are three steps carboxylation reduction and re regeneration so you know that 3 atp and two NADPH molecules are required to reduce one carbon dioxide molecule in C3 cycle. 
So first option 3 ATP and 2 NADPH2. So that is NADPH2 not NP. Second option 2 ATP 3 NADPH2. Third option 5 ATP 2 NADPH2. Fourth option 6.5 ATP 2 NADPH2. So to reduce one carbon dioxide molecule 3 ATP and 2 NADPH2 is required. Now coming to the 30th question. Q10 of light reaction is 1, option 1, 1, option 2, 2, 2, 3, option 3, 5, option 4, infinity. First of all, what is Q10 of light reaction? First of all, what is Q10? So, Q10 is the factor by which the rate increases when the temperature is raised by 10 degrees. So, this we have already discussed in biomolecules. If the reaction rate increases with increasing temperature, Q10 will be greater than 1. Q10 of the photosynthesis is actually 2. So, Q10 of light reaction is 1. Coming to the 31st question, carbon dioxide acceptor and carboxylating enzyme in C3 plants or respectively. Option 1, PEP, PEPCO, RUBP, Rubisco, Option 3, OAA, Rubisco, Option 4, 3 PGA, Rubisco. So, carbon dioxide acceptor and carboxylating enzyme in C3 plants. So, in, three pl in C3 plants, carbon dioxide is accepted by RUBP and the enzyme that is involved here is the Rubisco, ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase. So, Rubisco has dual activities, it can bind to both carbon dioxide and oxygen, but it has more affinity to bind to carbon dioxide than oxygen. So, carbon dioxide acceptor is RUBP and the enzyme involved is Rubisco in case of C3 plants. So, 31st question correct option is second option. Coming to the 32nd question. A bifunctional enzyme is option 1 phosphoglycerate kinase, option 2 PEP carboxylase oxygenase, option 3 rubisco, option 4 phosphoglycerol dehyde dehydrogenase. So, a bifunctional enzyme is rubisco. So, I already discussed in the previous bit Rubisco can bind to both carbon dioxide and oxygen. So, Rubisco is the bifunctional enzyme. Now, coming to the 33rd question, which is not a step in Calvin cycle? Option 1 carboxylation, option 2 glycolytic reversal, option 3 regeneration, option 4 photophosphorylation. So, in Calvin cycle usually there are three steps involved carboxylation, reduction, regeneration. Calvin cycle is also called glycolytic reversal. So, glycolytic reversal is the first phase in the Calvin cycle. So, here ATP is utilized and glucose is synthesized in the Calvin cycle. In case of glycolysis it is reversed that is why it is called glycolytic reversal. In glycolysis, glucose undergoes breakdown. Here, glucose is synthesized. So, so, Calvin cycle is also called glycolytic reversal cycle. So, in Calvin cycle, ATP and NADPH are utilized for the synthesis of glucose molecule. But in case of glycolysis, glucose undergoes breakdown and releases the energy that is ATP. So, carboxylation, glycolytic reversal, regeneration is the step related to Calvin cycle. Photophosphorylation is not the step related to Calvin cycle. So, 33 correct answer is 4. Now coming to the 35th question, which of the following is a copper containing protein acting as a mobile electron carrier in thylakoid membrane? Option 1 plastocyanin, option 2 plastoquinone, option 3 pheophytin, option 4 cytochrome B6. So, copper containing protein acting as 
electron carrier mobile electron carrier in thylakoid membrane plastocyanin is the copper containing protein which can act as mobile electron carrier in thylakoid membrane so 35th question first option is the right 36th question reducing agent for carbon dioxide fixation in bacterial photosynthesis is option 1 NADH2 option 2 NADPH2 option 3 FMNH2 option 4 all of these so in case of bacterial photosynthesis the reducing agent for carbon dioxide is NADH2 in case of normal photosynthesis in case of plants the reducing agent of carbon dioxide is Rubisco on PEPK here in case of bacterial photosynthesis the reducing agent for carbon dioxide fixation is NADH2 36th first option is the right answer now coming to the 37th question a wasteful light induced respiratory process releasing carbon dioxide is called option 1 Warburg effect option 2 Kutuskai effect option 3 photorespiration option 4 CAM Cresulation acid metabolism. So, photorespiration is the wasteful process releasing carbon dioxide. So, 37th question correct option is photorespiration. Now, coming to the 38th question. In photorespiration, release of carbon dioxide occurs in option 1 mitochondria, option 2 chloroplast option 3 peroxisomes option 4 all of these photorespiration is a process in which the plants can take the oxygen and release the carbon dioxide it which occurs in the mitochondria so in photorespiration release of carbon dioxide occurs in mitochondria coming to the 39th question inhibition of photosynthesis in high concentration of oxygen is called option 1 Warburg effect option 2 Kutuskai effect option 3 pasture effect option 4 immersion effect so inhibition of photosynthesis in high concentration of oxygen is called Warburg effect option 1 Warburg, Warburg effect is the right answer coming to the 40th question substrate of photorespiration is option 1 OAA oxaloacetic acid option 2 glycolic acid option 3 uh, PGA phosphoglyceric acid option 4 PEP phosphoenol pyruvic acid so substrate of photophosphorylation sorry photorespiration substrate of photorespiration is glycolic acid so glycolic acid can act as substrate of photorespiration coming to the party first question photorespiration occurs option 1 during daytime option 2 in c3 plants option 3 in cooperation with chloroplast peroxisomes and mitochondria option 4 all of these so photorespiration occurs in the C3 plants and occurs during daytime and in cooperation with chloroplasts, peroxisomes and mitochondria. So, correct option is all of these. Coming to the 42nd question. DCMU 3,4 dichlorophenyl 1 dimethyl urea also called diuron is a potent herbicide which inhibits option 1 oxygen evolution option 2 photophosphorylation option 3 both 1 and 2 option 4 oxidative phosphorylation 3mu is the potent herbicide which inhibits oxygen evolution and photophosphorylation so correct option is both 1 and 2 coming to the 43rd question an oxidative phosphorylation is the formation of option 1 
NADPH2 in respiration option 2 NADPH2 in photosynthesis option 3 ATP in respiration option 4 ATP in photosynthesis first of all phosphorylation what is phosphorylation phosphorylation is a process in which a phosphate group is at attached or added to the organic compound is called phosphorylation the best example addition of inorganic phosphate to the ADP which forms the ATP. So, the phosphorylations are of mainly two types oxidative phosphorylation and substrate level phosphorylation. So, oxidative phosphorylation is a type of phosphorylation which uses the energy released from the electron transport chain to form the ATP. What is substrate level phosphorylation? The substrate level phosphorylation refers to it is a phosphorylation in which phosphate group is transferred from substrate to ADP. So, in both cases ATP is synthesized, but in case of oxidative phosphorylation what happens? The energy released from the electron transport is utilized for the synthesis of ATP. But in case of substrate level phosphorylation, the phosphate group can be transferred from the substrate to ADP to form the ATP. So, oxidative phosphorylation is the for is the formation of ATP in respiration. Coming to the 44th question, carbon dioxide concentrating steps are found in option 1 C3 plants, option 2 C4 plants, option 4 option 3 cam plants option 4 temperate plants so carbon dioxide concentration steps are found in c4 plants as you know that in case of mesophyll cells and then bundle sheet cells carbon dioxide is fixed so carbon dioxide is concentrated in both the mesophyll cells as well as in the bundle sheet cells so carbon dioxide concentrating steps are found in c4 plants you know that the c4 plants has both mesophyll cells and bundle sheet cells and more carbon dioxide is fixed in case of C4 plants. So, 44th question correct option 2. Coming to the 45th question number of carboxylations in the photosynthesis in sorghum and mice is option 1 1, option 2 2, option 3 3, option 4 4. You know that sorghum and mice are C4 plants so number of carboxylations are two so one in mesophyll cells one is one in bundle sheet cells so correct option two coming to the 46th question Kranz anatomy is option one having peripheral reticulum in chloroplast option two presence of distinct bundle sheet option three dimorphic chloroplast option four large vacuoles in mesophyll cells Kranz anatomy. So, Kranz anatomy you can observe in case of uh, C4 plants. So, the presence of distinct bundle sheet cells is nothing but Kranz anatomy. Large cells around the vascular bundles of the C4 plants are called bundle sheet cells. So, the C4 plants which are having this type of bundle sheet cells called Kranz anatomy. Coming to the 47th question. In C4 plants, the first product is option 1, 3 PGA, option 2, oxaloacetic acid, OAA, option 3, malic acid, option 4, glutamic acid. So, in C4 plants, the first stable product is oxaloacetic acid. So, 47th question correct option is 2. So, in case of C3 plants, the first stable product is 3 PGA. So, in C3 plants, first stable product is 3 PGA. In case of C4 plants, the first stable product is OAA. Coming to the 48th question, in C4 plants, mesophyll cells and bundle sheet cells are specialized to perform respectively option 1 light reaction and dark reaction option 2 dark reaction and light reaction option 3 light reaction and photorespiration 
option 4 photorespiration and dark reactions so in c4 plants dark reactions and light reactions both will take place but the photorespiration is absent in case of c4 plants so mesophyll cells and bundle sheet cells in c4 plants are specialized to perform light reactions and dark reactions respectively so light reactions in case of mesophyll cells dark reactions in case of bundle sheet cells coming to the 49th question low temperature sensitivity of c4 plants are due to option 1 pep synthetase option 2 pep carboxylase oxygenase option 3 rubisco option 4 malate dehydrogenase you know that c4 plants are respond to low temperature and sorry uh, sensitive to low temperature c4 plants are respond to high temperature sensitive to low temperature this is due to pep synthetase so low temperature sensitive of c4 plants are due to pep synthetase so 49th question correct option 1 coming to the 50th question the members of which of the following families shows Kranz anatomy option 1 Compositi and Amaranthesi, option 2, Chinopodiaceae and Euphorbiaceae, option 3, Graminae, option 4, all of these. So, correct option is all of these. In all these families, they can show the Kranz anatomy. Coming to the 51st question, the initial carbon dioxide acceptor in C4 plants is option 1. PEP option 2 PGA option 3 or UBP option 4 pyruvate so the initial carbon dioxide acceptor in C4 plants is PEP phosphoenol pyruvic acid is the initial carbon dioxide acceptor in C4 plants in case of C3 plants the initial carbon dioxide acceptor is RUBP so in C4 plants the initial carbon dioxide acceptor is phosphoenol pyruvic acid so 51st question correct option is 1 so the remaining bits that we will discuss in the next session thank you